Today we're going to explain how to choose an appropriate irrigation flow meter for your application. There are two main types of irrigation meters and there is one distinct difference between the two. One has moving parts and the other does not. Here is an example of propeller meter with moving parts. You may already be familiar with this meter as it's been around for over 50 years. It's easy to see how this meter works. As water flows through the pipe, it spins the propeller. The spinning motion is then carried into the head of the meter through either gears or a cable. In fact, some early versions of these meters actually used surplus drive cables from speedometers. The propeller meter has stuck around for so long because it's easy to understand and relatively inexpensive. It also holds up great as long as the water is clean. This is a common problem. If you go around and look at a number of propeller meters, chances are you'll find some of them have stopped moving. If sand and grit get into the bearings that support the propeller, they'll get worn out quickly. If the bearings become worn out, they can jam or drag and make the propeller run slow. The second type, electromagnetic flow meters, also called magnetic meters or magmeters for short, have also been around for 50 years, just not in irrigation. They've typically been used in municipal and industrial water and wastewater applications. The technology on these magnetic meters has advanced so much that they can now be battery powered. This makes them great for irrigation use. Advancements in technology have also allowed the cost to come down on these meters, making them more affordable than they once were. A mag meter works the same way as an alternator in your car. By Faraday's law, if a conductive material such as irrigation water goes through a magnetic field, it creates a small voltage. If you measure that voltage and you know the size of the inside of your meter, then you can calculate how much water is flowing through your pipe. The advantage of the mag meter is that there are no moving parts to wear out. This is very valuable in applications such as river or well water monitoring, where there may be silt or grit in the water. Another advantage of the mag meter is that it typically doesn't require as much straight pipe as a propeller meter to function properly. Some variations allow you to connect very close to an elbow, valve, or straightening vein and still get an accurate reading. This is the Symmetrix AG3000 inline mag meter. There are a set of coils in here that create the magnetic field. Then on the side are the electrodes that pick up the voltage and bring it up into the head of the meter. In the head of the meter, there is a chip that converts the signal into the flow rate and total indicated on the meter. The AG3000 is perfect for tight installations and applications that require higher accuracy. This meter is the Symmetrix AG90 saddle mag meter. It also has no moving parts and was designed to fit perfectly into existing propeller meter installations. It works similarly to the AG3000, but the AG90 is an insertion style meter, while the AG3000 is an inline flange mag meter. The AG90 is perfect for applications that have more straight pipe available and are price sensitive. You can replace a propeller meter in minutes and at a similar price point. Both the AG3000 and AG90 offer data logging and come telemetry ready. So where would we recommend using a mag meter for irrigation? Well, the worse the water quality, the more it makes sense to use a mag meter. If you've had previous experience with bearings wearing out, a mag meter may be a good option. If you don't have much straight pipe in your configuration, we recommend the AG3000. If easy installation is more important to you, the AG90 may be the best fit. Irrigation metering is here to stay as responsible water use becomes more important. Meters can be a useful tool for water conservation and maximizing production through best irrigation practices. Learn more about the AG3000 and AG90 mag meters at symmetrics.com.